last problem is throwing downward 5 meter per second and the building is uh, from 60 meter tall building so what you need to do is first draw a DT graph so, and then you're throwing it downward okay with initial velocity so if you're throwing it downward this has to be negative 5 okay so now we have to find first we need to find the time how can we find the time uh, again quadratic equation d is equal to vat plus half at squared and d is of course negative 60 because with respect to you you know when you're looking down you see negative 60 minus 5t minus this is 10 right so minus 5t squared All right if you divide everything by 5 what do you get um, 12 is equal to minus t minus t square if you bring everything to the left side what do you get t square minus uh, t square plus t minus 12 is equal to 0 if you do uh, factoring t squared plus 4t minus 3t minus 12 is equal to 0 so t is equal to t plus 4 minus 3 is equal to t uh, plus 4 so t minus 3 is equal to 0 right so t minus 3 is equal to 0 so t is equal to 3 so the time elapsed time is 3 so now that you know the time so that's good all you need to know final velocity vf is equal to vi plus at all right so vf is equal to vi negative 5 minus 10 times of course 3 because t is equal to 3 so vf is equal to minus 5 minus 30 so bf is equal to negative 35 okay so few point all the point you have to write before you draw it especially point 1 0 comma negative 5 and and final point uh, p3 which is uh, 3 comma uh, 3 comma negative 35 negative 35 okay with this two point you can scaling it so let's do the scaling um, all right so this is gonna be my first you have to draw your x and y axis origin origin must be there so let's do the origin x and y axis okay so this is you have to you have to have the x-axis and y-axis you have to have that the y-axis you have to have an x and y-axis okay once you have that you're going to draw 0 comma negative 5 before you do that let's do the scaling all right so now i have three seconds so i can write so one two three four one okay one two okay so let's say one over here one two and three second all right three second and let's do negative 35 okay so we're gonna go by negative five so negative five negative 10 negative 15 negative 20 negative 25 negative 30 negative 35 so what is our first point first point is 0 comma negative 5 so this is 0 this is negative 5 so this is our first point okay we accomplished that our second point 3 comma negative 35 so 3 comma negative okay so we're gonna have to have negative 35 so 3 comma negative 35 is right here okay so we're gonna now connect connect this two point make sure you connect this two point okay all right now let's shading it all right so this is what you need to find now to find it you have to divide it into a triangle and rectangle so that you can use the geometry all right so let's see 
It seems like I can divide it in. Okay, so this is my rectangle. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure it looks like a rectangle. Okay. All right. So this is my rectangle, this is my triangle. What we know about our rectangle? We know about our rectangle is, let's say over here, rectangle is BH. What is our B? B is, don't forget B is three. What is our H? Don't forget H is negative five. So it is negative 15. So now let's find the triangle. Triangle is half BH. Half, what is B? B is still three. What is H? H is, remember this is negative 35. And this is negative 35, negative negative five, so negative 30. So negative 45. So what are you gonna do now? The other point, you, you can write point two. What is point two? Point two is three comma negative five. Uh, three comma, three comma negative five. Okay, this three point will allow you to uh, find the area under the shaded graph. So now what are you gonna do? Displacement. 1 plus displacement 2. Displacement 1 is negative 15 plus displacement 2 is negative 45. Make it distance, which is 60. And this is what I asked you to do. Very simple. Now let's do the other one. 50 meter above the ground. So here's what I actually was hoping you to draw a diagram. All right, so a diagram has how many things? You have this one where you're throwing it. This is where the velocity is zero. This is where the edge of the building. And this is where is the ground is. So four point, point one, point two, point three, and point four. Point one, so let's say point one, we kind of know it. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Okay, so this is our diagram. Now, to find the time, let's first find the time. How can we find the time? D is equal to VAT plus half AT squared. And since this is 50, okay, negative 50 with respect to you when you look down to the ground, so negative 50 is equal to, you throw the ball with some velocity. Minus, this is 10. This is what we are using. Okay, so this is we have now. Divide everything by five. So what do you get? Negative 10 is equal to uh, 3t minus t squared. Bring everything to the left side. All right, now factor out. So factor out t, t minus 5 plus 3, t, uh, t minus 5, right? Oh no, this is wrong. So t square, 5 and 2 will do the job. 5t plus 2t minus 10. So t, t minus 5 plus 2, t minus 5. So t is equal to uh, 5. So total time is equal to 5, so we know that. Once you find the total time, you should find the total velocity. Vf is equal to Vi plus At. So Vf is Vi is, of course, 15 uh, minus um, 10 and 5. So 15 minus uh, 50, so negative 35. Negative 35. Okay, meter per second is squared. Second. All right, we know everything now.
Uh, we're gonna go 15, so let's say 15, this is 15, and this is 10, and this is five, and this is zero, okay. Make sure you have X and Y axis. This is how you should be scaling. You're scaling once you have, once you know your time and velocity. Before you cannot scale, you cannot do scaling. All right, now how, how much you have to go? Negative 35. So how can you do that? So negative five, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, negative 25, negative 30, negative 35. You stop here. Now you put five. So now this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Excellent. Okay, now you need those points. Okay. All right, so point number one. Point number one is over here. So point one is time comma velocity. Point two is right here. Time comma velocity. Point three, time comma velocity. And point four, time comma velocity. Point one, the time is zero. And velocity is 15. Point two, the time. Okay, we have to find the time over here. Okay, let's find the time over there. How can we find the time? Very easy. Uh, Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Uh, so Vf is 0 over here. Vi is 15 minus 10 T. So T is equal to 15 over 10. So 1.5. So time is 1.5 over here. And velocity is 0 over here, of course. If the time is 1.5 over here, time is 3 over here. And velocity is negative 15. If it is 15, this is negative 15. The time is, we already found, 5 over here. And this is negative 35. So 5 comma negative 35. So once you have this, then you're going to draw the graph. Let's draw the graph, 0 comma 15. 0 comma 15 right here then done 1.5 comma 0 1.5 comma 0 done 3 comma negative 15 3 comma negative 15 done 5 comma negative 35 this is negative 35 5 comma negative 35 done you take your ruler you connect them and you need to know how to shade them. Okay, so this is how you wanna shade them. Okay, this is equal in magnitude with this, but opposite in direction. So these two will be zero. This one and this one, if you add them up, then zero. They do not contribute to anything. So we are looking for this reason. Okay, so let's, divided in triangle and rectangle. So this is a rectangle. Okay, so this rectangle is how much? BH, B is three to five, it's two. H is negative 15. So this is negative 30. Okay, now we have this one. Half B H, half B is, of course, two. H is, of course, this is uh, 20. Uh, negative 20 so you have negative 50 okay take the absolute value so 50 meters you 